We are products of our environment. He had him shadow box from the time he was two years old. He was kind of like Tiger Woods. You know, Tiger Woods had a golf club in his hand at 18 months, and Floyd Mayweather had boxing gloves in his hand at 18 months. Great smile, tremendous talent, huge ability. But for whatever reason, he embraced the darker side. And that's where the big difference come in. Floyd Mayweather is a product of the failures of a flawed system and flawed people. He was hit, literally and metaphorically, with the worst the hood could offer. His father, a halfway crook stage dad who threw hands with Sugar Ray Leonard. His mother, a user, left him after her uncle blew Floyd Sr.'s calf off with a shotgun over a deal gone wrong. But not before Floyd's own father used his baby son as a human shield. Floyd Jr. followed his mom out of Michigan, ending up in ghetto after ghetto as mom started chasing the dragon. With nowhere else to go, Floyd goes back to Grand Rapids, back into the battered hands of a father with a short temper and long reach. My dad was my trainer from the age of 10 until I was 16. Boxing's not nothing that, that I wanted to do. Boxing was forced on me. Floyd Sr. literally pulled no punches. This environment of instability and casual violence created one of the greatest boxers of all time. It also left indelible marks on his psyche. Floyd pushed himself to escape. Boxing was the only escape he had. And the fame, everything that comes along with that, but you can't get that without having that almost maniacal drive to do it year after year after year. I'll find a way to win. After taking home a bronze medal in the 96 Olympics, Floyd went pro. Opened his career with 17 straight wins and 13 KOs. Earning a title shot at 130 pounds against respected 130 pound champion Gennaro Hernandez. The early going was wild, with both men wrestling and falling. Floyd built a career on learning to control the chaos. By round four, Floyd has figured Gennaro out. Floyd landed 56% of his punches. Excellent champion. He's not letting Hernandez hit him tonight, and that is the key to boxing. Hit and not get hit. Look at Floyd Mayweather just unleashed with the rights and the lefts. Oh, a nice left. But look at Floyd Mayweather. Gennaro's corner called the fight, and Hernandez retires on the spot. Fight's over. Has stopped the fight after Hernandez's brother has told him that's it. The fight is. It was with both parents Floyd celebrated his first championship. A clear contender emerges to challenge Pretty Boy Floyd for his title. Diego Corrales brought a 33 0 record into their fight. Along with a shredding inside game, Corrales liked to pour it on late to finish his opponents. In the best offensive performance of his career, Floyd took Diego apart with insulting ease. With an angry right hand of his own over the so far. Brilliantly up your opponent. Untouchable as ever on defense liable to lead with anything at any time. Whatever he threw had unreal velocity on it. Well, a start to round seven. Floyd turned in a master class. Going an average of less than 25 punches per round. Not used to jail all night. And the second knockdown of the round for Mayweather. After seven brutal rounds, 
Mayweather broke through with multiple knockdowns. It went on until Richard Steele had finally seen enough in the 10th. One of two good shots. Right hand, another knockdown, fifth knockdown of the fight, Three. fifth knockdown of Corrales' career. Five. Another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron, that's gonna be the end of the fight. And Corrales goes over and nearly accosts his dad for having stopped the fight. Corrales did come back. Pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. In the toughest fight of his early career, Floyd went up in weight to face Jose Luis Castillo. Floyd looked good early. Good right hand from Mayweather. He looked like but the patient stalking pressure started giving Floyd problems. Almost every round was close and difficult to score. Now they're getting into it a little bit. Castillo wants this. That's the end of the round. Castillo took over much of the middle portion of the fight. An uncomfortable Floyd Mayweather rose to the occasion. Floyd won on unanimous scorecards. Hard to catch him. In the hardest fight of his career. Round number nine scheduled. Bill just wants to go. Floyd gamely took the rematch. One much clearer the second time around. Still trying to land a punch. And that's that. We're still fighting after the bell. It was about this time Floyd went full heel and accepted that hate was all the fans would ever give him. So he embraced the hatred. I'm not worried about being popular. I'm worried about being a legend in the sport of boxing. And 20 years from now, 30 years from now, you can mark my word, it, the people will say Floyd Mayweather is the best fighter ever. The bad boy angle as much as she can and have some fun with it. Turned it against the fans' favorite fighter. Arturo Gotti was an action hero coming off a classic trilogy with Mickey Ward. Every fight he got into was a wild slugfest. A man renowned for sheer durability and power got absolutely vivisected by prime Floyd Mayweather. And again, Gotti being held. It is as close to a flawless victory as you will ever see. Floyd created a single fight highlight reel. Mayweather still makes him pay every time. It's a surgical sharpshooter. Snap your fingers to just get in the old fashioned way. Look at that. Gotti couldn't make seven rounds with a prime, spiteful, pretty boy Floyd. my time listen to my uncle Roger and stuck to the game plan you know that's not get big-headed listen you never get, get too big big-headed for your trainer and stay focused that's all I did Floyd continues to stoke the flames of the fans hatred you know he know my number he know how to call me he know how to get in touch with me only thing I'm gonna do is keep racking up victories and beating the best and Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya said that he want the best he want to leave off fighting the best bring it on I text that ass too leaning harder into the money Mayweather persona every day again playing the heel by walking to the ring on Cinco de Mayo against Oscar de la Hoya wearing this. Floyd learned that an awful lot of people would pay to see him lose. The fight was electric, with Floyd's defensive brilliance up against one of the most fluid combination punchers of his generation. I saw him beginning to do that in homework. He knows how he has to beat. This is a, a ring being cut off by De La Hoya. You'll see the left hook by Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya is out. Whether well, he's running the line or not, he's fine. The fight was full of legendary exchanges. But Mayweather outboxed him now. Danny 
says Tebow. Look at this. Oscar Romeo shot. With that. True to that script. He hit a stamina wall. I got in the draw. What a fight! How do you like it? How do you like it? How about that? And in another razor-thin decision, Floyd proved a cut above. Retiring in the post-fight interview, just as a new crop of welterweights was blossoming. Pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. My split decision. Yeah, I'm having fun. You know, I'm happy. It was a hell of a fight. That's what the fans wanted. I told the fans they was going to get a good fight, so we gave them a good fight tonight. Yeah, I'm still retiring after this fight. I proved myself in the sport. Uh, Six-time world champion, five different weight classes. They said I couldn't do it. I weighed 150 yesterday, came into the fight today weighing 148, but we marked 150. And you, you seen the watch away beat the junior middleweight today. Mayweather would return to pick all those cherries he left hanging from their stems. The obvious showdown with Manny Pacquiao was put off multiple times while Floyd matured into accepting his limitations. His style changed. Volume dropped. Clinching became more frequent. He only put his fragile hands in danger if he was sure they were going to land. His influence had come back around. Canelo Alvarez was the next big thing. At just 22, Canelo's defense and counterpunching game had a massive Floyd Mayweather influence. Every fight I always talk about, we got the remedy. We, we gonna beat Mayweather, we got the remedy. Shut up. No fucking fight to beat me. I am boxing. When the student met the master, the heir apparent got taken to school. And you see right the elbow in the cold points in using the angles and doesn't want to get Never gets hit. He doesn't have a bad style. Some people who never get hit are considered boring, but Mayweather has turned it into a Floyd Money Mayweather. The biggest challenge to Floyd in his late career was the heavy-handed swarmer Marcos Maidana. The Argentinian had blasted out Floyd's protege in a satisfying upset, earning his crack at the man himself. So, for the 46th time, the world gathered in Las Vegas to watch him lose. Madonna fought like a wild bull, trying to gore and maul as much as box. Floyd took his lumps learning. But by the mid-rounds, we returned to the universal Money Mayweather fight, and it was playing out. Unlike Broner, Floyd understood the need to alter his style. Took control, ended up winning yet another close decision. desperation of poverty to the richest athlete of all time. Floyd bet on himself and it paid out a billion dollars. Built a billion dollar black business with his own two hands. Made it out of the hood in the biggest rags to riches story in boxing history. Floyd Mayweather remains one of the most divisive characters in boxing history outside the ring. But between the ropes, unquestionably one of the most talented dedicated and consistent fighters to ever live. I am Mr. Boxing. Mr. My Life is the Mr. Money Man. Mr. I'm getting 
Yeah. The best of the best. The prim de la prim. The but it's at the pinnacle. The world can be against me, but I'm gonna continue to win. 